You may be surprised to learn that healthcare workers are among the province's highest risk groups for exposure to violence in the workplace. More after this. Every day in British Columbia, healthcare workers are exposed to violence and aggression in the workplace. And that means that in addition to learning the technical and the medical skills they need, more and more healthcare workers are learning how to protect themselves against the very people they want to help. We're going to do some uh, role plays. Hugh Palmore has been leading these kinds of training sessions for 15 years. Anybody who's been into an emergency room recognizes this is a place where emotions are running high, there's anxiety, there's uh, family members aren't well, uh, there may be some delays and so on. And so the potential for violence is, is quite great in those work areas. And we want uh, workers to understand that they do have choices in how they respond to the conflict and potential violence in those environments. I've been waiting for my son to get in here for some time. Yeah, everybody's in the same position. We're really busy right now. If you just take a seat, somebody's going to get to you shortly, all right? I need to get Sir, my son in here now. Here. Don't tell me to freaking relax. Hey. I need to get my Diffusing son Diffusing hostility is not a complicated process. It's straightforward, everyday communication, making safe choices, trusting intuition, knowing our limitations, um, and knowing that I don't have to resolve everything. I, my son needs to be in here right now. Yeah, I can understand, sir. It's very frustrating. We are pretty busy, uh, but we're going to get to you as soon as possible. This I, is ridiculous. I can understand how frustrating this can be. Just If you give me a moment, get an update for you, find out just exactly how long it's going to be. Uh, if you There's a completely to different outcome in this scenario. So human connections back, occurring, options, uh, progress. You said I'll be right maybe back. Maybe I'm going to find out. Somewhere. And completing the whole thing with I will get back to you. And if you don't mind taking a seat. She didn't say take a seat. If you wouldn't mind giving him some power, and it may not always be perfect, but it's far less likely in that second scenario that he's going to escalate to verbal threats or violence. It seems to me we could all benefit from the kind of training that Hugh is doing with these healthcare workers because we all have a role to play to ensure that our healthcare system is a safe and violent free environment. And even though it's just a piece of a very complex puzzle, this kind of training does mean that patients' behavior is less likely to escalate into a violence and aggression. And that means that healthcare workers can do what they really want to do, and that's care for us, their patients. For WorkSafe DC, I'm Maria LaRose.